Lighting can make or break a photograph, but in my experiments, it's the hardest element to control in Midjourney. I'll cover the basic prompt keywords and show how to generate lighting, like this, or this. Let's start with a basic prompt of a photo of a woman in Paris, tourist, and 35mm as a camera film type. I'll be adding the prompt keywords in yellow at the top of the screen. There's no easy slider to adjust the lighting in Midjourney, so we need to get creative. Let's start with the time of day. Dawn, morning, noon, sunset, twilight, midnight. As we move through the day, the lighting will get brighter during the day than dimmer in the evening. You can directly use keywords like bright lighting or dim lighting to control the intensity. Try golden hour, which is considered the best time of day to shoot photographs for the soft warm light that brings out the natural color hues and skin tones. Let's test how weather affects our lighting. Sunny looks bright and lively. Cloudy is darker and more muted and partly cloudy is somewhere in between. One of my favorites is foggy. The color tones are similar to cloudy, but there's a slightly opaque texture to the photo. We can also change the direction the light is coming from in the prompt. Front lighting should shine a light from the front. This doesn't always work great. The keyword studio lighting seems to be an alternative that produces a desired effect. Backlighting uses a light source from the back. Now, if you've seen my video on camera angles, you know Midjourney can't separate between left and right. This is also true for lighting. I tried different ways of getting lighting from the left or the right, but was unsuccessful. One of the coolest lighting styles is silhouette lighting, which transforms a subject into a black cuddle figure against the background. Combine silhouette lighting with side lighting for soft glowing photos. My favorite lighting effect is projecting light through a window. You can shoot rays of light and ask Midjourney to cast shadows on her face. Play around with projecting light through other mediums like crystals or just glass. Change up the location for different effects. Go to a concert for more festive lighting or a club or a restaurant for a more intimate romantic feeling. Get creative. Try adding different colors like bright neon. Use keywords like cinematic or Instagram for social media filter type images. Add candlelight for soft shadows. Natural lighting uses the sun and volumetric lighting produces a full and robust looking image. You can put in special effects like optical flares, which is that blurry circle, or sun stars, which is that super bright spot casting rays over there. Combine different lighting keywords for the best effects. Light through window, shadows on face, rays of light. Silhouette lighting with side light, candle light. Let's push the limits of mid-journey. Photo of a woman, fiery smoke all around her, silhouette lighting and side lighting, volumetric lighting, light rays, sparks, orange and teal light. Wow. It's frustrating to get mid-journey to do exactly what you want, but through some experimentation, you get really nice effects. Make sure to subscribe for more guides and mid-journey updates.